hello everyone so today also we are going to continue with the takedown system so now here we are working on if I silently go to the go behind the character I can do the takedown but if I walk the enemy hears the sound but then here if I try to do a takedown it doesn't work because the enemy has already detected me so that's what we are going to work on today and other than that we are going to make sure this is working with replication so here is the demonstration with the replication let's test with the client you can see the client from all the windows if i do the takedown it's working and it's replicating to other instances of the game and if i make a sound then enemy get alerted so other players also can't do a takedown because uh, the enemy is basically now alerted now so we don't have the ability to do the takedown so both replication and other things i mentioned we are going to work on them today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patron page once you become a member you can download anything without a limit and also this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series i'm doing you can watch all other episodes as well in my channel i'll leave the link to the full tutorial series playlist in the description all right so let's get back to today's tutorial all right so right now regardless of the enemies hear me or not i can do a takedown here if i press the middle mouse see i can do a takedown even if the other enemy can listen to me uh, have already detected me so we need to prevent that so for that here let's go to this AI behavior tree and when an enemy has detected an opponent and this is the branch that will be executed in the enemy's AI so here I if I apply some gameplay effect with the tag that says this particular enemy has detected an opponent so then if we apply that at the time when we try to do the takedown we can check the victim and check if the victim has that tag if yes we can prevent doing the takedown so for that first let's um how do we do this i think i have already created a task pt task apply gameplay effect yeah let me add a name here apply gameplay effect so basically whatever the tag we pass into this gameplay effect will pass into this task will be applied to the character so here apply gameplay effect and as the oh gameplay effect class i can give um right we haven't created a gameplay effect for that yet so let's create a gameplay effect choose the gameplay effect as the parent I'll call it GE oh, auto save. Okay, GE opponent. No, let's call it enemy detected. This is enemy relative to the NPC character, so that means player in most of the case. But if there are other uh, NPC characters who belongs to a different faction, they are also enemies. 
All right. And uh, here, I set the duration to infinite and add the component target tags gameplay effect component. And then we can add the tag uh, on the character state. Okay, we need a new tag character dot state dot enemy detected add new tag and assign it yes the added tag okay now here we can give ge enemy detected that becomes longer but i am not sure if there is a way to make it short smaller but that's all right mm, now let's go to the gameplay ability take down so here before we equip or anything let's check the victim so for that let me skip this part like this because we don't need to equip the weapon if we can't do the takedown okay now here we already check if the enemy is dead and also this is has any match in gameplay tags so therefore we can add the enemy detected also so if this is also present in the victim this will become true and so it will prevent proceeding this way okay now let's check here i should be able to do the takedown yeah but if i if i do this and now i can't do the takedown because the enemy is already looking at me All right, so it is working as intended. Even if I press the middle mouse button here, nothing happens. But it will only respond to now. The, since I'm using the middle mouse button for the stun attack, also I need to fill up my stamina level and then do a perfect parry. Then we can activate the stun attack. But that's not the silent take take down let me see if i can do that yeah so this is not the silent take down this is just a take down or stun attack v2 let's test again just let me run yeah we can't do that i'm pressing the middle mouse we can't do that let me sneak to them Now I can do it. Great. All right. Uh, why am I? Ah, okay. So when I, this is something new, something I just uh, noticed. Let's see we lost the speed we are moving fast why is that happening okay the speed change happens because of this lock on ability when I equip the weapon this lock on ability is activated 
and it changes the moment speed so maybe as a quick fix for that we can get max work speed and then here is it should be 250 when I'm locked on and then let's select the main from 250 or the current speed this should prevent happening that speed change when we do the take down yeah and when we look off oh look off also we need to fix that so here is the look off mm, we need to check if the character is crouching So we don't have a function set up for that yet. Let's see. Go to the base. We only have PPI character set moment mode. Okay, let's add a function to get moment mode under the character and it should return e moment mode. Just call it mod and yeah uh, databases character get moment mod we can return the current moment mod like this okay now when we lock off we can get Moment mode, and then we can select this based on the mode. Select so this should be 500 by default, but if we are crouching, it should be 200. If we are working 150 running then 500 wait I need to check what's the exact value running 500 sprinting 650 okay well actually we don't need to set this here we just need to refresh or re-update this moment mod uh, in the character itself so we can do it like this here let me delete this and update moment mode yeah no not the animation update moment mode set moment mode not that too set moment mode message this one and update with the whatever the mode that the character already has this should prevent change in the speed all right let's see with the takedown move away yeah see we are not changing the speed we are going back in the normal speed that we were already using and <laughs> i was running so the other guy heard me 
okay so that was not directly related to uh, takedowns but still we need to make sure things are compatible with all other systems in the game okay next thing is uh, we need to make sure this is working in a multiplayer mode so since server let's test with the client yeah it is working and replicated to other instances as well now let's test what happens if the enemy here the noise yeah it is not working great i can't do the takedown any of the player if any of the players are detected by the enemy okay so replication works properly so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below feel free to let me know what you guys think and what else i should cover next so i am thinking maybe revisiting the ai and do some further improvements to the ai system so yeah let's see and see you in the next episode goodbye